Hey, how you doing, man? Congratulations. You're having like an amazing year. Thank you. Dude, I got to ask, uh, first off, now that you're officially a Marvel superhero, how many Druig action figures do you own? Uh, ten. <laughs> People think I'm messing when I say that, but I have them all on a shelf at home, ten of them. Just oh, there. yeah. I, if it was me, I would have boxes. Best believe everybody I love would be getting an action figure I'm of me. Think, yeah, person. that's it. I'm just thinking, who, who can I give them to? But no, it's it's honestly surreal, man. Um, you know the Lego, the the every. I see McDonald's done something yesterday as well. I don't know how legit that is, but is it real, lads? The McDonald's one? Is does McDonald's Happy Meal? I think uh, Eternals. How yeah. insane is that that you're a McDonald's Happy Meal toy? Oh no, man, it's 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 weird. I was holding the figure in my hand, and you know, a friend was sending me pictures at home uh, of uh, <laughs> of my figure like climbing a tree. My figure on the beach, my figure, you know, slaying a dragon. My, you know, I was like, God, oh, I was like, hey, people are having fun with it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Marvel kind of, you know, they made me look good as well. Oh, I mean, nah, don't don't give Marvel that's the credit, a, man. Come on, you're, amazing. you're not bad. You're not a bad looker. I mean, standing next to Icarus, we're all kind of homely looking, but <laughs> you got it going on. No, uh, I love the film. I And I got to be honest, I really wasn't expecting to, but I it surprised me like how thoughtful it was. Yeah. And thematically, I felt like there was a lot of heavy topics that Marvel usually doesn't touch on. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you signed on to play Druid, did you read the script? Was there something about the script that you liked? Or were you just like I would have been and just said yes right away because it's a Marvel movie? Well, yeah, there is that, you know, as well. You're like, yes, even before you read it. You're like, yes, yes, yes. Um, Chloe Zhao, yes. Um, but no, reading it, I was, um, oh, it was great, you know. And, and just Chloe as well, you know you know, playing around with the time and kind of reminds me of Christopher Nolan, how he plays with time and it takes a really clever filmmaker and a brave filmmaker to do that. Um, but I was on board, you know, as soon as that came in. As soon as the audition came in, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I want this, I'm getting this, you know, this is my chance. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I loved about the movie was seeing how the film weaved the Eternals throughout sort of human history, right? So if you were a real life Eternal, is there a specific historical time period that you would want to revisit? I don't know. It's a tough question, man. It is. It is. I'll have to leave that one. So now the Druid looks like he's here to stay. Who's another Marvel character you want to either team up against or or square off against? Um, Loki and Thor. Definitely. And Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I love Thor Ragnarok as well. That's a, that's a deadly film. Oh, dude, it, that, that one's one of my favorites. That surprised me how, how yeah. good it was. I, uh, I got to tell you, um, I loved also that this is like the first Marvel movie that makes DC references, and you're actually going to be in the Batman, too. That's Which no, is I wild. Can't talk about, we can't talk you, about that. You can't talk about the Batman? Mm -mm. Okay, okay, then we'll circle back to something else. No problem, no problem. No uh, problem. <laughs> so I felt like uh, Druig is probably the most at odds uh, out of the whole group as far as not being able to help humans, right? So if Druig had decided to interfere in the fight against Thanos, how do you think Druig would have beat him? He could beat him with his hands. He doesn't need mind control. Druig is a pretty good boxer as well. But, but, but. Well, the mind control aspect too, you know, there was that whole theory, why didn't Ant-Man jump up in Thanos and then just grow bigger and making him explode? Exactly. And, exactly. you know, Druig, maybe Ant-Man didn't want to do it, but Druig could make him do it. Exactly. I, I, I thought so. Yeah, I think so. Oh, man, thank you so much for talking to me. I had a great time. I, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I know you've had a long day, but the movie is awesome. So thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, my man. Thank you.